Today's uh, an opportunity to give you an exciting update on our company progress. As you know, PowerVision has developed the world's first true shape-changing, fluid-driven intraocular lens. We mimic the eye's natural accommodative process. We create what we call a continuously variable monofocal. We're designed to create consistent, high-quality vision across the range of powers. Today, I want to focus on uh, updating you on our technology and updating you in particular on the progress of our newest generation device. Last time we came and spoke to this group, we told you that we had taken our Fluid Vision 2020, a device designed to nearly double the accommodation of our prior generation product. We've taken it through design and into our animal testing. I'm now pleased to let you know that we've completed our design verification and have launched the product into the clinic. We just launched into the, into the clinic uh, in the last month or so, so I'll be sharing some very early um, results with you today. So again, I think many of you are familiar with how our device works. When the eye moves to its natural accommodated state, the capsular bag squeezes a tiny amount of fluid from the haptics at the edge or periphery of the intraocular lens into the center. And when I say it's a tiny amount of fluid, it's less than a drop. When the eye attempts to move to its disaccommodated state, the reverse happens, of course, and the capsular bag squeezes the fluid uh, the other way, and this deflates the lens, giving far vision. We implanted around 150 of our prior generation device with excellent outcomes. Um, on the upper left, uh, just a quick overview, we got excellent distance visual acuities in our single and multi-center studies and very importantly showed stability of our outcomes out to 36 months in, this, uh, in these studies. We also got very good intermediate and near visual outcomes. On the upper right, you see a demonstration that we uh, were able to achieve with our last generation product of more than one diopter of objective accommodation measured using uh, industry standard techniques. And importantly, on the bottom right, you see an image of a clear capsule out to 36 months confirming the stability of our results. So I, uh, as I mentioned, we just launched the Fluid Vision 2020 into the clinic. We have six sites in South Africa enrolling patients. The slide says we have 23. We actually have 24 successful surgeries completed to date. Um, and the early results are very promising. The surgical technique is straightforward. I'm gonna show you a brief uh, video of an implantation of our lens. Here you see the uh, insertion through a three and a half millimeter uh, incision. Leading, leading haptic is being delivered. Just a moment, you'll see the uh, optic being delivered. And you'll see the trailing haptic uh, being delivered as well. The lens is nearly fully delivered into the eye at this point into the capsular bag, at which point it is uh, just clocked into its final position. You'll see that in a second. And the lens has been successfully implanted. We've designed this uh, lens to have excellent image quality over a range of powers. This is actually bench testing of our lens versus a uh, competitive multifocal um, lens. And it shows, as you can see there on the, on, the, uh, on the slide, very clear images all across a range of powers. We, as I said, we just implanted our first devices. So we have a very small amount of data to show you today. But I, I wanna show you something that you've never seen before. Um, I don't think there's any data that shows a pseudophagic patient with these results. And what you're looking at is between three and a half to four diopters of objective accommodation measured in two of our patients um, when presented with an alternating near and far stimulus. This is a uh, really unprecedented result and a demonstration of the power of our newest accommodating intraocular lens design. 
Despite the fact that we've made fantastic progress, we will never stop reinventing ourselves. We, as we said we would, we launched the Fluid Vision 2020 lens into the clinic. We are making great progress on shrinking our incision size to 3.2 millimeters and ultimately to smaller incision than that. We will ultimately launch a toric version of our lens and uh, finally a post-implant adjustable version of our lens through an even smaller incision. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.